And three, two, one, we just have a lot of these red bottle rockets to do right here. What is it with rockets that just make them so amazing? Oh, this is going to be really fun. Oh, the birds chirping outside are so peaceful. Back to another firework video, and today, let's go ahead and look and see which bottle rocket here performs the very best. Now these black cat rockets right here are pretty cool and as a matter of fact they are the most common rocket that I see and we're gonna go ahead and compare those to whistling rockets. Now I know it's a very simple video guys but whenever you are purchasing fireworks from stands or you are just about anywhere to get fireworks maybe this will help you. And speaking of big bottle rockets like these guys if you want really big fireworks like this then go ahead and go over to David and Chetta's Chetaman Fireworks. That is right. I'll have a picture of what it looks like on the screen. I believe he is stand 94, if I'm not mistaken, and you will get fireworks like none other. With that out of the way, guys, let's go ahead and demo some bottle rockets. Now, this one I do believe is pretty interesting. They are by Black Cat, and I just pulled them out of the sheath. I'm going to go ahead and put them over here so we know which one is smallest to largest, and let's go ahead and see how this does. So we're going to take the bottle rocket and just place it inside the tube like so and let's have a listen oh yeah i think i saw it up there it's nice when you have a blue sky <laughs> now these ones are pretty neat but i do want to compare them to these bottle rockets now there's been a lot of question at boom city for whether or not these ones right here by miracle fireworks are any good so let's go ahead and we will compare them to the black cat bottle rockets wow there are lots of planes in the sky now up for size it's pretty hard to determine exactly which is bigger or better but guys there is the black cat one on the right and there is the one by miracle fireworks on the left so this is how it'll work. We'll kind of go with this one right here by Miracle Fireworks and then the Black Cat one. So let's go ahead and do the one by Miracle Fireworks first. And we'll see how it does. Okay, so pretty good pop. And now guys, we'll go ahead and we will do the Black Cat one. I think I accidentally got two. That's too bad. Okay, that was the Black Cat. And that right there, the Miracle Fireworks one. I do believe the Black Cat ones are a little better, but I'm not sure. Always just come to Boom City and try them yourselves to know. So now that the Black Cat is the winner, let's go ahead, guys, and we will compare that to the Moon Travelers right here. And these ones, I do believe, are slightly smaller, but there really isn't any way to tell. So let's go ahead and we will try them out. We will do the Moon Travelers first. These are one of the most simple bottle rockets you can find just about anywhere. Okay, not bad. And now for the black cat one. Look at that. It's hard to focus sometimes. Ooh, it's a close match. Okay, now here goes the black cat one once more. There it goes. Now the moon traveler with report. One of the most basic bottle rockets in existence that I've seen everywhere. Okay, now I feel like the black cat ones are a little louder, but I could be wrong. Now with that out of the way, we also have the whistling bottle rockets. And man, that is hard to get out of that wrapping. So we're going to go ahead and do these next. And there are also these other whistling ones right here. And as a matter of fact, the label on these guys looks very similar to the ones that don't whistle. In fact, they almost look exactly the same. But they are different bottle rockets. So we're going to go ahead and try them to these other whistling moon travelers right here. Here. All right, everyone, so now for sake of difference, we have the small bottle rocket, as you can see, and it has like a red marking underneath it, as well as this other larger bottle rocket. I think it's just a little thicker than that one. All right, so here goes the small whistling bottle rocket first. Very nice. I did like that. Now here goes the other slightly bigger one. Whoa, now that was really neat. I did like that. It's still tough to say which is louder, but let's go ahead. We'll do the red marking on the bottom of that one. Okay, there it went. Now here goes the thicker one.
Now that was pretty good. I did like those, but it's hard to say nonetheless. I honestly think you could get away with either of them and they're both just about the same loudness. Now in terms of distance, I think I was impressed with the smaller one just because it had less weight and could fly further. Now if the smaller ones did make the cut, I'm gonna go ahead and try these other whistling ones here. These are the premium moon travelers with report. I like the red wrapping on those. That's pretty sweet. And then we've got the smaller ones and we're gonna go ahead and compare them. All right, here goes the new red premium moon traveler. All right, not too loud, but we'll see. Maybe that one was a dud. So then we'll do the red bottomed one. Oh no, it didn't go. Let's go ahead and try the other one like so. I did like the sound of that. By far, I believe it's one of the best ones, but we have another red one to go ahead and try real quick. Oh, now that was louder than the other one. In terms of distance, I think it's hard to determine exactly, but I'm liking those red bottomed ones more. I do believe that that settles that. But now everyone, we need to go ahead and do a whole bunch of them. All right, here goes a lot of red bottomed bottle rockets. <laughs> that was so cool. And there is confetti coming out of the sky. Wow, that was great. We've got two more here that are begging to be burned up. So let's go ahead and do that. Whoa, what happened there? And three, two, one, we just have a lot of these red bottle rockets to do right here. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Lots of smoke from that. I think that the red bottomed bottle rockets went further, even though those red ones did have longer fuses, and I'll show you that right now. But look, there is the size of that fuse, and compared to some other bottle rockets, you'll notice that the fuse sizes really do vary. Now, I saved these TNT bottle rockets right here for last, because in my opinion, they are the best small bottle rocket, and they are very loud. I'll show you guys right now. All right, here goes a TNT bottle rocket. Oh yes, it flew very, very, very high in the sky. And here goes one more of them. I'm gonna make sure it's facing away from me. Well, that one just blew up in the tube. So guys, that is why it is important to put bottle rockets in a tube, no matter what, hopefully like those folks just did. So now let's go ahead and move on to some of the bigger bottle rockets right here. Now I'm liking this black glitterous one, but I'm gonna go ahead and bring all three because they all look about the same size and we'll see which one has better effects. So let's go ahead and we'll do the black one next right here. Oh, this is going to be really fun. <laughs> yeah guys it is really good to do bottle rockets on a huge open field so no one gets hurt wow look at that nice contrail of smoke it made as well as the plume over there now this one is called the bees rocket right here so let's go ahead and see if it sounds like a bee Oh, now that was pretty sweet. It's hard to capture the trail, but look at the smoke right there. And I did like the effect kind of breaking to where those trees were so that the dark contrast could show you. With that out of the way, we have one more and it's called Butterfly's Rocket. So we will see. All right, here goes Butterfly's Rocket. Yeah, that one did land on the ground, but take a look at the effects that it made. And now everyone, we have the larger rockets right here, such as the two ounce, the four ounce, and I think a six or eight ounce. I'm not really sure, but they are big rockets. And oh yes, this is exciting. Let's go ahead and do the small one first. And this should be a lot of fun. And here we go, three, two, one. Here goes the two ounce rocket, supposedly. I think it's two ounce. Oh yeah, that made some nice smoke in the air. And now let's do the four ounce rocket for comparison. Now I'm expecting this one to travel a little further, but the field should hopefully be big enough. All right, here it goes.
Oh yeah, guys, that traveled way further over there. I'm loving the four ounce rockets. And yeah, I am honestly kind of scared to see what this one is gonna do now. All right, this one is called Royal Salute Rocket. This should hopefully be a lot of fun. Wow. Oh, <laughs> I like the little squid it made up there and look at all the smoke. Yeah, everyone, I have to say that those are probably the furthest traveling rockets I've ever seen, but it is nothing compared to the larger rockets that you see here. We've got Neutrino D, the Moonshot, and the bigger one. What is it with rockets that just make them so amazing? All right, guys, let's go ahead and we will try the Moonshot. Now, these rockets are so special that you have to take a red cap off. And oh goodness, everyone, here goes Moonshot. That was not my bottle rocket. Oh yeah, now that made quite the echo. Well, here we go to Neutrino D rockets, and this is going to be amazing. Of course, I gotta get that, that little red cap off, just like so. Now this one, I do want to be straight up, as opposed to going in a slant, because I'm not sure where they're gonna go. Guys, the field is big, but honestly, it could be not as big, as I know how far these rockets travel. And we will see how they do in three, two. It's already one, guys. Here we go. Whoa. Wow, guys, that has exploded very high in the sky. I do have to say, so far, those are the best rockets we have ever done. And there we go, everyone. Here is the California Legal Firework Rocket. Let's go ahead and we will see how it does. This should hopefully be great. Now that is why you want to stay back from rockets in case they blow up on the stick or well right where they were just launching out of and always always plug your ears. Holy cow guys I hope you liked that and you guys know where you can get them if you come to Boom City. Oh well I do believe that was a lot of fun today. More bottle rockets for the 4th of July.